Hi, Jonna. Thank you for the introduction. And thanks to Chella for the kind invitation. It's great to be here with the Civics Unplugged community at Commence 2030, which I know commences a special and momentous week ahead. I'm excited for you, young civic superheroes, to ratify your declaration that envision a brighter future for democracy, and for you to sign the declaration with pledges to build the future. Your decision to pledge means something. It means that you have opted to take responsibility for your future, and you have opted to be an active participant in building a better world. And that gives me hope, because democracy improves as more people participate. Digital technology remains one of the best ways to improve participation as long as the focus is on finding common ground and rough consensus, not division nor polarization. These are the lessons Taiwan has taken to heart in recent years, with the government and the technology community partnering to create online and offline platforms and digital initiatives that allow everyday citizens to propose and express their opinion on policy reforms. Today, Taiwan is crowdsourcing democracy to create a more responsive environment. And certainly, this movement, which today aims to increase government transparency and accountability, was born in a moment of national outrage over a lack of openness in politics, a sentiment that still resonates with many people in the world today. To give some background on the government reform movement in Taiwan, that was in 2014, March 18th, Hundreds of young activists, most of them students, occupied Taiwan's legislature to express their profound opposition to a new trade pact with Beijing then under consideration, as well as the secretive manner in which it was being pushed through the parliament by then the ruling party. Catalyzing what came to be known as the Sunflower Movement, the protesters demanded that the pact be scraped and that the government institute a much more transparent ratification process. There's a lot to be said about how the movement ultimately succeeded. But it's worth pointing out one core ingredient. It's a deep commitment by the leaders of our social, economic, and public sectors so that we can work together to build the future of our democracy. Six years later, with civic technology's help, Taiwan handled the pandemic with no lockdowns and countered the infodemic with no takedowns. If you're interested in that, simply search for fast, fair, fun, and to see how Taiwan can help. As our president, Dr. Tsai Ing-wen, once said to our annual presidential hackathon, she said, do it bravely and dare to make mistakes. As we embark on building a brighter future for democracy, I encourage you to keep this spirit as you work to meet the public's needs. And finally, as a fellow developer of digital democracy, here's my call of action to you. When we see the Internet of Things, let's make it an Internet of Beings. When we see virtual reality, let's make it a shared reality. When we see machine learning, let's make it collaborative learning. When we see user experience, let's make it about human experience. And whenever we hear the singularity is near, let us always remember the plurality is here.